Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I am talking about Fire Force, season number one, episode number three, the Rookie Fire Soldier Games. In this episode here, we pretty much have, you got um the 8th Battalion with, with their rookies, and you got this new battalion coming in, the 1st Battalion, and they're a rookie competing in this game. N not a lot of people there. I, I was thinking a lot of battalions from all over all the rookies gonna battle it out and then whatever and then whoever, whoever's the, the winner gets the prize I don't know what's gonna happen but it was only like let me see was that one that I saw four people? yeah that was it no 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 not four three yeah so that was a little bit shocking and it's, it's gonna test them doing fire fire things but things take a little bit of a turn because it, it, it starts off like a, like a regular game and you have um, Shinora, he's, he's in the lead because he can fly so he can he must get inside the building before everybody else. No, they, no, they do show other people but I don't think, they, I don't think they're, not, they're not really important because you get introduced to this new person but you get to, this, to, to, new, new, to, to two new new people. You get introduced to the um, uh, um, how, how you say um, a Katara Ubu, Ubi? He's the battle, he's the battle companion of the, um, I mean, I'm sorry, Leonardo Burns. He's the, he's the battalion commander of the first, of the first special fire, fire brigade. And you, and you also get introduced to, um, what's her name? Um, Tamaki Katats, Katatsu. And she's part of the first Bobby grade too. And she's the girl you see in in in, 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 in um in the in the in the theme introduction. And I thought she's gonna be part of the eighth brigade, but she looks like she's a, she's a part of a whole other brigade nonetheless. So, but since they introduced her inside the theme, most likely she's gonna play a bigger part later on. But but, but most, mostly throughout this whole entire episode right here, things are getting revealed. And, you, and now we're starting to question the, the, the fire brigade as a whole. Because you have Shinara, he goes inside of there, and there he meets the Joker. He meets the Joker, who's this guy who pretty much says he knows about the, about the fire brigade, actually, with, um, about the, that they're lying, that they're hiding, they're keeping secrets, and that his little brother is still alive. Who he thought died in the fire. So, that's opened up some doors. Because now you got um, Shinara saying... Should I trust the fire brigade? Was me part of, being part of the fire brigade was that a bad thing or was that a good thing? And you have the Joker over here. Not only does he wants to pretty much test you know to see what he's capable of, he also wants to recruit him and get him on his side. Cause he didn't go there to it. Cause at first I saw him when you first see him, you think he's there to pretty much kill some Sh Sh Shinora. No, he's not there for that. He, he's there to recruit him. And just to test him, to see what he's capable of, just to see what kind of power he brings to the table. So when he, so when he sees it, he sees his potential and brings him on board. And I also like the in this episode here, you get a, a, a little bit of a not a, a I would say confrontation, but you get a um, and uh, I guess you could say you could say Shinora meets the the the, um, the first um, battle brigade commander. Because he has some questions. Because he was there when the fire happened. So he should know exactly what is true and what's the lie. Because he might know exactly who was responsible for the fire, what caused the fire in the first place, and if they and if that person can be found and, and can they can't bring them in. But now thinking that there are some other things going on in the fire, great secrets are being um kept and lies are being told. Now he's not so sure if he can trust them. But the only person he can trust is his commander, which brings them together because his commander was also investigating the fire brigade and finding out what's, the, what's true and what's the lie, which also brings opens up doors to, to that to that little world. So overall, a great a great fight sequences that happen in this episode, especially between um, um, Shinora and, and the Joker, watching them go at it. And the flu the fluidity of the motion and how the animation animation is with the fire and the effects of the fire, especially when it comes to his feet and the way he like sort of like like break dances, fights in this episode was like just beautiful to watch. Even the other characters like 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 the knight watching him in action and the new girl with her special like cat like fire abilities was also fun to watch. And also it also has a funny moment in here too, with especially the encounter between um both um Shinora and um Arthur with the new girl. Um, Tamaki and how they pretty much interacted with her. It was like a, a awkward sexual thing that was going on between them. 
So that was weird, but it was uh, funny to watch at the same time, too. So, great episode. I like the fact that things are getting more revealed. The more about Shinoa's, um, um, Shinoa's past is starting to come from, come forward. And if his brother is alive, is his brother the bad guy? Is his brother the, the boss of the Joker? And, he, he much, and that's why he want to recruit him, because his brother sent him there to, pretty much, to recruit him. And to let him know that he's still alive and that the, the people who he's trying to, who he's working with, who he's on the side of, may not be the good guys after all? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. But overall, great episode. Really did enjoy it a whole lot. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the episode of Fire Force. And if you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy having fun watching it too. So give my channel a big like, thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. Like I always say in my dreams and my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.